All right, Rex, I'll start with you. What do we take away from it? It was not an artistic masterpiece. Oh, it wasn't? No, what, what do we take away from it? Huge win. Absolutely enormous win. And yes, was it ugly? Did we not anticipate a, ba a, a baseball score game? Of course we did. <laughs> I mean, especially when we saw those conditions. But man, to grind out a win, the Jets are four and three, mm -hmm. okay, which is unbelievable at this stage. They've had the lead for fewer plays than any team in the National Football League. Yep. And so coaching still makes a difference. We got to credit Robert Saul and staff. And to me, I love the Zach Wilson thing right here. I love it. Because last year he would have said something stupid and all that. He's maturing right in front of our eyes. And at the biggest moment, he was at his best. Mm. Now, look, the game wasn't, it, he wasn't great. All right. But Daniel thinks a little different. But at the biggest biggest moment, he was at his best. Well, just for those of you who didn't see it, first off, congratulations. Second of all, the Giants <laughs> the Giants had minus nine passing yards in the game. I'm not making that up. Yeah. And it went to overtime. Tyrod Taylor got hurt, it's ribs, hospital, all that kind of stuff, terrible. But your thoughts on the performance of the young quarterback? I thought Zach Wilson played really good yesterday. I honestly do. Last year, the Jets and Zach Wilson lose the football game. Not even close. Yeah. This is a game... Okay, th th first of all, th these, this stretch of plays might be the best of his young man's career. Yeah. I mean, the un the circumstances of, like, no way I can throw a big in route. We get a flag, so it stops the clock. And then to get outside the pocket and know, like, okay, I can still get a chunk completion here and not do something silly with the football. And then the patience or, or the conviction to get to the line of scrimmage and get the, the ball clocked and spiked to have the kick and then get into overtime. Listen, he makes a massive third down throw to Garrett Wilson. Bottom of the screener. Dude, he's getting sawed off right there by safety versus man coverage. Get to the Garrett and then Garrett's freaking effort to go get the first down. So good. We're so unrealistic with our expectation for quarterbacks. Okay, just I know people disagree with me. This was a game that he had zero run game. Zero. They had four drops in a torrential downpour and finds a way to win the football game. Garrett or Zach Wilson played really good yesterday. I'm telling you he did. Watch the tape. I'm telling you he did. I'm cool with everything you say as long as before you say it, you say for him. He played really good for Zach Wilson. As long as you qualify it, I'm with you. But let's not pretend that Brees Hall didn't make a big run and like Garrett Wilson wasn't making outstanding catches. They lost to a third string quarterback who was probably planning to be a practice they didn't lose. They won. I mean, they won uh, yeah. over a third string quarterback who had negative nine passing yards. Okay, yeah. course, let's not get carried away. It's a good win. They fumbled and fell backwards into a W. Good job. Now they got to hope and pray that Aaron's ankle or Achilles can well, heal miraculously. So, so the fact the – so how does it not, like, get categorized as a really good game? What because did, I watched it. What yeah. did, but what did he do? <laughs> but what did he do? Like, what, what do you mean? What did he do? How, how did he not play well? He – he, he made a pass interference play, and he made two good passes. Let's not say that he was good. He was okay. So, he so, going, against, so going against the defense that three weeks ago picked off the guy who was leading the MVP race okay. to a twice. Okay. All I'm saying, I don't want to argue with you, Dan. Why not? Because it's a pointless argument. Just say for him. That's all you got to say. But Let's grade him on the same scale that you grade everybody else on or put the qualifiers out there that are necessary. He was not great. He was not very good. Well, they won a game. He made two good throws. Two good throws. No, he didn't, Dom. He made multiple good throws. Four drops. And don't tell me to grade him the way I would grade everybody else because we don't do that with other quarterbacks. Okay. So then add the qualifiers. Just add the qualifiers. That was a terrible pass right By there. My <laughs> qualifiers are this. Yeah. I'm the guy that's uh, that sat here and say, be patient with this kid. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Right from jump. Right. All we expect, I don't want to, he's not going to make the leaps. Right. He's going to go like this and this and this. And then by the end of the year, he's going to be right where you want him to be. Well, but In my what opinion. Want from him? No, but I'm saying this. Here, here's what I would have liked to have seen. The biggest errors, in my opinion, that he made during the game were late in the game. He a couple sacks. Two I agree sacks with that. Terrible. That were absolutely horrendous. If, if he can Good end sense. up now, throw the things away. All right, throw it away. But the fact that he stood up in the biggest moment and he delivered Did is they win a that game definite last year? step. No, absolutely right. not. Did, does this guy handle that press conference different no. last year? Dude, he would have said something stupid. Three weeks this ago, guy this Giants is getting defense. a lot better. Picked off Tua twice. Right. Two weeks ago, they held Buffalo to 14 points. Last week, they held Sam Howell and Washington to seven, who just put up 30-plus 
on Philadelphia. The defense for the Giants over the last three weeks is playing good. They are. So, again, in a football game – when the quarterback had no run, four drops, torrential downpour, third string center, he played he's like he played a very good game. He did. I'm telling you, there's multiple throws, and he missed two or three throws, no doubt, but like the context of the game has to matter. Magnificent. You are a takesman. This is a magnificent take. <laughs> no. Well crafted take. No. It's beautiful. Magnificent. I, I don't it's but I Jeff believe kiss. it. I believe it. He I, played really well yesterday. Here's the thing. I mean, it almost it, it, what they're saying almost Backs up what you said. Yeah. Would he have handled the press conference badly last year? Yeah. Yes, yeah. that's good for him. The curve. Would they have lost the game last year? Yes, that's good for him. It, 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 no one is going to walk out of that game saying it was a pretty victory. But the, I will, the place I will totally that's agree with you is that it is a win that keeps them moving in the positive direction. We always good said that them. they had back-to-back -back winnable games. And then when you said by the end of the year he's going to be right where you right. want him, I agree, which is on the bench because Aaron Rodgers is going to be back as the starting quarterback December 24th well, against the Commanders. Come on, tell me you didn't get excited. Uh, show me, uh, show uh, me Aaron Rodgers throwing the ball around uh, out there. Graziano was sending you the show notes. Him moving. He was doing drop yeah, backs. Drop, drop back, backs. Yeah. He looks spectacular. Aaron Rodgers is coming back. Isn't Wouldn't he? that be something that this kid gets you to the playoffs, and now you want to bench him? It's, it's <laughs> like I'm just saying. It's like, I, it's the, like the, the people who look, wanted to uh, see the guys fail the most in the NFL is Russell Wilson and Zach Wilson. I don't want to see no, him fail. I'm happy for Are Zach you Wilson. telling me if Aaron Rodgers could come back and play, you no, wouldn't come no, back and play I him? Would. Of course yeah. I would. Right. However, I'm going to say this: your future of this organization has a better chance of being Zach Wilson than it does Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers we may see next year. Yes, he made two great throws on that last no, sequence. He, I totally no, no, agree Greeny, with that. No, he didn't. He has he did a great make arm. two great throws. Just, He's got multiple Nobody big time cares throws to Garrett about Wilson. your notebook because we watched the game. Yeah, so the it, game. All I'm saying, I'm happy for him. Just, just say that it was good for him. That's it. Don't start talking about very good. Like he, they won because of him. He did they not didn't win it. because of him. Okay. I never said that. You said very people. good. It's like, it's like words don't mean anything to you. Very good is very good. Why do I have to, why do, why do I have to like, cap it with, well, really good for him? Why can't it just be a really because, good performance? Because other quarterbacks really who have to play. Really good for him was good enough for us. There we go. That's they all you need. Won, I'm they, proud they of him. I'm the happy game. for him. Because why this team is it built was, on their defense. It was so cool when he, after the game, he said, I saw 20 seconds, and I said, I got this. It was great. Get an early lead. It's over. Once they get an early lead and you have to throw the ball, they're going to force turnovers, and Micah Parsons is going to be a problem. Absolutely. And if there's one thing that I don't think any of us wonder about, let's start by focusing on them for a moment. None of us wonder if they can play great against bad teams. None of us wonder if they can blow out teams that they should blow out. And that's – I'm not trying to uh, undersell that. That's an important quality of being a good team. The question is, can they do it at a championship quality level? Did yesterday change your mind at all about the Cowboys being a championship team? It, it did not. If the Cowboys get to play to the exact style that they kind of need to – then I will get into that conversation and say they can go beat the Philadelphias and the San Francisco's or even the Detroit's and Seattle's. But they have to play to that style. Uh, their, their offense was great. You know, Dak's eyes, Dom, I, I thought they're fantastic. The, the ability to get CD moving around and then using that information I thought was really good. CD's at the bottom of the screen. Dak is going to read that safety. If he goes towards CD, he's going to read to the three-man side. If he goes to that three-man side or towards the middle of the field, he's going to throw a post-corner post one-on-one -on -one to CD and him. Now look at Dak's eyes. He knows what that safety's doing, so he's taking him where he wants to go. Safety closes his shoulders, rips that backside in, or that backside post-corner post. Beautiful job. Now another one. CD's at the top of the screen, okay? And you're going to get pressure off your left side. Now, when that happens, you have a defensive end from the right that's going to drop into coverage. His job is to drop and kind of read your eyes. Dak knows that again, so he's staring to the left side, bottom of the screen, to get that guy to just to straighten up a little bit to vacate that open zone for what we call a wrap in. So I thought the, the movement of C.D. Lamb, the matchups that were created, and the eyes for Dak Prescott were great. If I get that consistently out of their offense, then, yeah, they're, they're, they, they have championship type of moments. And then the defense gets to play with the lead for sure. But I haven't seen that consistency to consistently to bank on. You agree with that, Rex? Well, no. I, I think this team showed me something. The fact that you, you just kind of glanced over it. You made a good point about C.D. Lamb, how they moved him. Mm -hmm. But it shouldn't be glanced over. They haven't done that. Up until this week, they kept putting Michael Gallup at the X receiver. And they would have CeeDee Lamb in the slot by him. Like, Always. Yeah. And, and to me, 
that that's like they realized, hey, you know what? We're, we're, we're not any good with Michael Gallup uh, mm -hmm. out at that the weak side of that formation. Let's put our best receiver over there. They put C.D. Lamb over there. And that thing that this play you just showed, yeah. all right, well, it's a fire zone pressure. <clears throat> well, that linebacker, the defense end, is dropping to the number two receiver. You moved him away, you got more space for C.D. Lamb. That's why you had all that room in there. The other thing is this. They realize Brandon Cooks is a special player in his own right. right. And he's your second best receiver. Throw the other kid out with the water. I don't care. He, <laughs> he, he underperforms every with single the week. And so to <clears throat> me, Brandon Cooks is legit, and so does C.D. Lamb, and so, now you got an offense to start so to Rex's figure it point, out. The reason why you put your best receiver at X is perfectly illustrated by Dan's video is because it's harder to double-team him. You put your best receiver in the slot, you don't have to compromise your defense. A safety's already over there. You put your best receiver to the X, then you have to move a safety over, then you have a three over two on the other side or something yeah. like that. And so if you put C.D. Lamb in a slot or you put him at the Z, there's too many people around him. You don't force the defense to compromise themselves yeah. to stop him. Now, you got to do something different. You got to compromise the rest of your defense to slow City down. So, so today is not just a day that we look back on all of yesterday's action, but it's also the beginning of what should be the best weekend the NFL has had so far. Monster games. We got Bengals and Bills, which is huge. huge. And it'll be in Frankfurt for Kansas City, Miami, maybe the top of the AFC. And then Dallas and Philly. So as we're sitting here looking at these two teams, the first of two meetings this year between the Cowboys and Eagles. So after we see the Eagles, look. Styles make fights, isn't that what we say? Obviously, the commanders just give the Eagles fits. There's something in that matchup, but give Philly credit. They found a way to win.